beautiful message by Sri Aurobindo Zalmanis. Our final goal is to realize that earth and heaven are one together. The basic aim of all kind of yoga is the realization of the divine, the realization of the unity. Sri Aurobindo believed in a spiritual realization that not only liberated but transformed human nature, enabling a divine life on earth. Yeah. Features of him prominent in general yoga, which believes that yoga can be followed by everybody, not just experts. Sri Aurobindo believes that aim of yoga is to change even the physical as well as the mental appearance. In this. Yoga, God has their own powers, but they do not come until and unless you ask. So the divine powers are received only when we ask for it. Now we wish I'll be sharing certain important uh, yoga gurus here. So first we have Swami Ramdev. We all know Swami Ramdev is an Indian yoga guru who has played a pioneering role in popularizing yoga across the world. We all know Patanjali, propagated by Swami Ramdev. Good morning everyone. So today we will be seeing a bird pose which is related to yoga. The first is flamingo pose. This particular pose is also known as mirchayasana and usually done as warm up exercise. It is a balancing yoga pose and the focus are the muscles of arms and shoulders as we can see how the flamingo stands in the same pose we do this yoga. Uh, and this focuses on biceps, triceps, feet, ankles and chest, hip, knees and prodigious. So this is a very important yoga pose which helps you to warm up and do uh, the yoga which is very simple which you can practice every day. The next yoga pose is the stroke pose. This is also called as Shar, uh, sorry, Saras Pakshi Asana. This is a balancing yoga pose. How you balance your body just like a show. Uh, so, it is done as again as a warm up exercise and it benefits the muscles of feet, ankles, and cordyceps. Next yoga pose is Pigeon Yoga pose. This is, uh, it is also known as Kaposana, uh, which is a sun. Yeah, so welcome to the second day of International Yoga Day celebration for the month of May. Uh, let's begin with the shloka and the prayer, which will be sung by Rupali first. Over to you, Rupali. Yes, ma'am. Tu hi Ram hai, tu Rahim hai, tu Kareem Krishna khuda hua, tu hi Vahe Guru. 
तू ये बसी हर नाम में तू संवार तू ही राम है तेरी जात पात कुरान में तेरा दर्श वेद पुराण में गुरु ग्रंथ जी के बखान में तू प्रकाश अपना दिखा रहा तू ही राम है तू रहीम है तू करीम कृष्ण खुदा हुआ तू ही वाही गुरु तू यशो मसी हर नाम में तू समार अरदास है कही कीर्तन कही राम धुन कही आव हन विधि भेद का है ये सब रचन तेरा भक्त तुझ को बुला रहा तू ही राम है तू रहीम है तू करीम कृष्ण खुदा हुआ तू ही वाही गुरु तू यशो मसी हर नाम ही राम है थैंक यू रूपाली शिल बिगिन विद श्लोका नाउ यस पश्यंतु मा कशित दुखा भाग भवित ओ शांति 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 meaning of this shlok is om may all be happy may all be free from illness may all see what is auspicious may no one suffer om peace 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 thank you rupali over to you vicky yeah I'll start the mashna yeah thank you vicky for that melodious rendition by lata mangeshkar ji it was wonderful national anthem that we could hear this morning over to you shikha for the yoga of the day ma'am am i audible yes yes 
So good morning to one and all. Today we are going to do some pranayam exercises. Dimpal is going to perform the exercises. So starting with pranayam. Pranayam is a yogic practice of focusing on breath. In Sanskrit, pran means vital life force and yam means to gain control over it. It elevates the pran shakti or life energy. So the first one which we are going to do is ujjayi breathing. For this, you have to sit straight in an easy position. with your spine straight and uh, straight and shoulder roll down and back from your ears keep your hands in a prana mudra means join your little finger ring finger and thumb together and other two fingers should be straight and put it on your thighs facing upward then seal your lips to ensure that all the air is channeling through your nostril then close your eyes and inhale on a count of 4 1 2 3 Four and hold for it eight seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and it's slowly on a count of four. One, two, three, four. Hold for a moment and again inhale. Hold your breath. and exhale slowly so benefit of prana mudra it it helps in regulating blood pressure it prevents hair fall and strengthen hair roots it boosts respiratory system and improves lung functioning and increases lung capacity the second one is bhamari pranayam we will use shanmukhi mudra for this pranayam it means we are closing six entries of our body By, uh, by by detaching from the world and focusing on ourselves so place your hand your little finger on your chin your ring finger above your lips your middle finger on your nose and your index finger on your ears close your uh, on your eyes close your thumb uh, close your ears with your thumb open your nostril to breathe in breathe in out of four one two Three, four. Close your nostril and hold your breath for count eight. And exhale from your mouth, making humming sound like a bee. Hold for a moment. Then again inhale. from your nose on a count of 4 hold your breath on a count of 8 and exhale slowly by making humming sound from your mouth mm benefit of this is as we are producing vibration sound from our mouth so it uh, it uh, inhibits the pineal gland functioning and releases melatonin hormone which uh, treats sleep disorders and it helps in regulating menstrual cycle the third one is anulom vilom for this we have to sit in a vishnu mudra vishnu mudra means close your fingers like this and open all the three fingers and close your one nostril from your thumb then inhale from other on a count of 4 hold your breath close your both the nostril for 8 second then remove your thumb and exhale on a count of 4 slowly then hold for a moment breathe in on a count of 4 close both your nostrils and hold your breath remove your finger and exhale on a count of 4 benefit of this is uh, it facilitates the body balance and equilibrium it stimulates the heart and lung functioning it is beneficial in case of headache and migraine and treats gastric, uh, gastric acidity and snoring problems
द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट प्राणायाम इज कपाल भारती बिकॉज इट जनरेट्स लॉट ऑफ बॉडी बैलेंस एंड डिजोल्व वेस्ट मैटर्स एंड टॉक्सिन it helps in improve blood circulation digestion and metabolism it also strengthens the function of liver and kidney it helps in, it helps in soothing sinus and asthma and other problems also thank you thanks a lot shikha as well as dimple Uh, now one of you whom can I Vicky come on take the attendance in the sense just mark the attendance of the absent numbers and just send a WhatsApp to me. Okay, check out on the participant list and just send me the numbers. I'll just speak. Ah, huh? there is a call from Jamna Bhai. Do we need to call out the numbers? I keep the screenshots of all the participants. So as far as your name is present, I think we need to call out. Or maybe we can go ahead and call out the numbers. Easy to keep. I think one is not present. No. Sorry, students, sir, for keeping you waiting. Actually, uh, because the principal had called to ask about one candidate from S Y, so therefore the placement is important. So I thought, let me just give for a word for her. Okay, now let's come back to our topic. Uh, I think N C F T clear to all of you. N P E W, sorry, National Empowerment of Women. What are the different ways that we need to have the empowerment of women? We have finished it last time. I thought. It's clear to all of you. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Now we are left out with the two topics. One is national curriculum framework. Okay. Gender according to national curriculum framework. What is the position of gender that they are giving? Where do they place it? Gender perspective. And next, we are going to study about the role models. I hope this much is clear to all of you. Okay. So now I am just playing the video. Kindly jot down the points. Anyone will be questioned, and I should find everyone now. Since you are watching the video, fine enough. After this, I should find everyone on screen. Anybody whose name I call out for asking question. If I do not find the person responding, you will be put to waiting room. Have I made myself very clear? Yes, ma'am. See me. 
की जगह का जो स्ट्रॉन्ग पिलर होता है वो उसकी बहुत इंपॉर्टेंस होती है राइट स्ट्रॉन्गेस्ट पिलर ऑफ द सो नाउ Smile, please, everyone. let us begin our lord's prayer as we say our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from all evil amen यथाहुबेरियो अथारतोष अशाचेत चावंगे हुष दसदा मंगो शोधन नाम अंगे हुष मजदाय शत्रमचा अहुराय आरिम द्रेगो बियो ददत वास्तारम अशेम बहु वहिष्ठे मस्ति उष्टा अस्ति उष्टा अमाय हयातशाय वहिष्ठे मशि नेक्स्ट इज इट हिनल प्रचोदया 
Okay, next. Who is next, Sabita? Yes, ma'am. Ekunkar Satnam Karita Purak Nirvo Nirve Akal Murat Ajuni Sebhang Guru Prasad Jap Ad Sach Jugad Sach Hebi Sach Nanak Hose Bi Sach is it Sharmin next? Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Ma'alik yawmiddin. Iyaka na'budu wa iyaka nashtain. Ihdina sirot al-mustakeen. Sirot al-lazina an'amta alayhim. Uh, Carol, is your turn done? Carol? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So instead of Vicky, okay. then he would be there. Who would be there? Ma'am, I'll play the national anthem. So the, the, the Pratna is done. Somebody will be saying the Jain prayer. Yes, yes, Uchika. Uh, Ruchika, no. you are not audible. Hello, is it audible? Yes. Namo Ariyanta, Namo 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 Ayriyanam, Namo Uachayanam, Namo Noe Sabbasavunam, Esu Panchanam Karo, Sabbha Pavokanasanam, Mangalanam Cha Sabbetin, Padamam Hawe Mangalam, Who will be saying the Buddhist prayer? Hello, ma'am, I'm saying. Yeah, quickly. Hello, am I audible, ma'am? Yes. Buddham Sharanam Gachami Dhammam Sharanam Gachami Sangham Sharanam Gachami Okay, uh, Kunal, over to you. Yes, ma'am. Just a moment. We'll start with. Yes. Jana, jana.
ओके यस मैम ओवर टू यू या अंकिता आर यू रेडी यस मैम यस मैम you can stop good morning everyone uh, good morning everyone so today i'll be talking about kriya yoga also referred to as the yoga of action or awareness it is an ancient meditation technique that uses pranayama that is breath work mantra that is chanting and mudras that is spiritual hand gestures to rapidly accelerate spiritual growth the ultimate goal of kriya practice is to achieve spiritual awakening or enlightenment or samadhi so where did this technique come from This is an ancient technique that has been around for thousands of years and has been referred in Patanjali's Yoga Sutra text as well as mentioned in the Bhagavad Gita by Lord Krishna. Fundamentally kriya means internal action. When we do an inner action it does not involve the body and the mind as they are external to us. So if you do an internal activity it is called as kriya. Um it is a modern yoga school described by its practitioners as a yoga A, a ancient yoga system revived in the modern times by Mahavatar Baba Ji through his disciples Lahiri Mahasaya in 1861. It was Paramahansa Yogananda who then popularized Kriya Yoga through his book Autobiography of a Yogi and through his public teaching in the West. The practice of Kriya Yoga is taught only through a guru-disciple relationship after an initiation ceremony. Going a little further into Kriya Yoga and talking about the Shatta or the six Kriyas. It is a practice that cleanses the internal organs, which allows a balanced flow force or uh, flow of life force energy. So the Shatta Kriyas are first Kapal Bharti, which is a pranayama or a breathing technique that purifies the frontal region of the brain, cleansing the respiratory system and the nasal passage. Second, Trataka, which is the purification of the vis visual system, which improvises the eyesight and enhances concentration. Neti, which is a technique of purifying the nostrils. Dhoti, which is a technique of cleansing the intestine. Nauli, which is the purification and strengthening of all the vital organs such as liver and spleen, and Vasti, which is the practice of cleansing the rectum. So these cleansing techniques are considered to be extremely powerful and should be practiced under the instruction of an experienced teacher. Thank you, ma'am. Okay, Ankita, thank you very much for the information. Students, now the entire week we are having this special assembly, and there were different activities what were conducted. now based on this lot of information was also shared with you all so let's see how much you really remember and understand about the different information related to yoga so we have a very small quiz uh, to just see okay how much you all remember and uh, over to you neha are you there you can share the screen and yes. just remember remember students you will follow the rules not blurt out the answers you will raise your hands the ones who know the answers okay and uh, neha you will be alert and you will pick up the ones uh, you want for to answer the question okay yes, yes. over to you neha ma'am is my screen visible ah uh, yes neha Yes, ma'am. Uh, so let's start with the quiz here. Yes, Danish. Uh, the answer of first question was uh, who proposed the yoga. This was, I think, the three or four. Identify from the given option sound related to vibration. Uh. this this question i think i i know the second question dinesh it is okay yes, ashna. ashna you had raised your hand please answer neha i will take over okay you can just flash the slides yes i'll take yes ma'am yeah yes ashna ma'am is it the first one humming sound neha can you can you show yes. us the correct answer or can you tell us the correct answer neha uh yes ma'am the uh, correct answer is humming so okay Sir. yes next question who proposed integral yoga theory indian psychology i just saw ruchi raising her hand first ruchi uh shri aurobindo okay correct Neha? answer okay ma'am that's okay. next identify from the given options the word pose related to yoga I saw Shikha first. 
I am seeing Banjit Ma'am also raising her <laughs> hand first year, <laughs> but on the screen, yes, she can. <laughs> I'm C. Saras Pakshi Asan. Yes, that's correct. Neha, yes. Okay. Uh, next one. Name the place which is called Flamingo City. Okay, Kunal. Navi Mumbai, ma'am. Okay, Neha. That's correct, correct ma'am. Okay, next. Identify the asana in the given. Image. Uh, uh, That's correct, ma'am. Okay, okay. Next. What is the purpose of pranayama? Nilima? Ma'am, breathing exercise techniques, sorry, breathing techniques. Neha? Yes, ma'am, that's correct. Okay, next. Identify the asana in the given image. Trishti? Ma'am, Parvata Asan? Neha? Yes, ma'am, that's the correct answer. Okay. Next. What is the full form of A, V, A? Yes, Dimple. Ahar, Vihar, Achar, Vichar. Okay. Ne That's Neha. correct, ma'am. Okay. Next. What food does yogis eat? Uh, Sabita? Satvik. Okay. Neha? That's correct, ma'am. Okay. Identify the asana in the given image. Dinesh? Naukasana. Neha? That's correct, ma'am. Okay. That's correct. Okay. So, excellent. We clap for everyone. Okay. For all the answers given. Very good students. And you all have been very attentive throughout the week. So, thank you very much. Yeah. Uh, Pallavi, ma'am, regarding the 